Welcome to Vegetable 101. And I know what you're all thinking. Vegetables. I don't like my vegetables. But sometimes you just got to eat what you got to eat. So we're going to talk about three types of uh, vegetables. Frozen, fresh, and canned. Ooh, the sin of the can. All right. Fresh vegetables is obviously everybody's first choice when they are buying vegetables from their local farm stands or their grocery stores. They maintain their you know, the highest nutritional value and we all know that. Frozen vegetables on the other hand, you know, they're pretty good too. They maintain a pretty high content of their nutritional value and it's frozen right into them. The one problem with frozen vegetables in a hurricane type situation is, is if you don't have one of those little generator thingies, you know, that you have to start and plug the power into when the power goes out, you're probably going to lose that product within 24 to 48 hours, depending on how many times you open that freezer door. So what is left? Well, canned goods. Oh. People don't like eating vegetables out of a can. All right, so this is the deal. Your canned goods would be for your emergency storage for your hurricane or natural disaster type situation. For one, canned goods will last a lot longer than fresh or frozen vegetables. For two, yes, you do lose a lot of the nutritional value. There is still some nutritional value that are loaded into these said cans. Three, you can usually pick these up pretty cheap and you can also get them in a wide variety of different type of vegetables. As you can see here, I have just a few. Uh, we have some carrots, we have corn, we have green beans, two different styles, French and regular cut. We have peas. I got a little can of mushrooms right here. Um, a great thing to pick up is canned potatoes. Now with the canned potatoes, I would have to say you're going to want to take and just rinse those right off. And um, once you rinse them off, then just you can mash them up, heat them up, um, you can fry them. Whatever it is you want to do, you can do with those things and they're just fine. But make sure that you rinse them first. Now over here we have some sauces. Now your tomato sauces and things, you know, you're going to want to have on hand because let's just face it, if the power's out for a week or two, you're going to get pretty bored eating just vegetables. So you're going to have to come up with some creative ways to try to cook up some dishes so that everybody will enjoy it. And there's quite a few ways that you can do that. And so we have to put uh, your spaghetti sauce, your crushed tomatoes, just your regular sauce, uh, tomato paste. You may want to make sure you have some of that just in case you need to thicken something up so it's not real runny. Um, having cream soups is a very uh, beneficial thing to have in your emergency supply kit even in your own home because they are great to cook with there are a lot of different dishes that you can do that you can just use one of your cream soups and they come in all different kinds from cream of mushroom cream of broccoli cream of cheddar ah, you get the picture I mean there's just so many nowadays it's just ridiculous but it's a benefit to us so I have have done extensive videos and the past on certain types of vegetables and everything and it goes into more detailed nutritional value how to know your dates and how long everything lasts and if you'd like you can just check out one of those videos right up there and until next time i will catch you all on the flip side